first of all, I'd just like to talk a little bit about um, Plymouth because you, you, you know, you must know the boys. How how was it on the on the weekend? Yeah, um, from us as a team, I thought it was a lot of positives to be honest. Fine lines in fine margins, especially in this league, definitely. Um, they've scored four goals, we've scored two, so those stats matter. Um, goals scored, so we can be proud of our performance. Every game's different, you know. Look, going forward, you know, next block of fixtures look more favourable than our last block. But we can't take that for granted. It's, it's about, you know, I think matching those performances we've had, improving where we can as well. And I think going forward, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, obviously being at Plymouth last season was, was great for me. Had a good spell there. Um, brilliant, obviously, stadium and stuff. But, you know, here at Cheltenham this season, and, and it's been a, a good season for us so far. And it's, it's just, um, just staying consistent, I think, and, and matching our levels. Does it does it make a difference in those in those moments because you have had that personal relationship with the club you know you you played there you 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 might know a little bit about the way they operate for instance. Um, I think it helps me personally because I I have a good idea of working with the manager and how they set up and, and what sort of problems they want to cause teams. I know they do a lot of work on themselves in possession and stuff like that. So I, you know, obviously every manager tries to develop and add things. Um, think that can help me on a personal level but in terms of going against teams you know that you've you've been at prior um it might give you a bit of extra motion motivation to get a result but if it's it's another game for me definitely so i just go into it and and look forward to another game and and try and come out with it with a result really and and tell me a little bit i mean you guys have had a tough run of fixtures and uh, you've got sheffield wednesday uh, tomorrow, tell us a little bit about how you're preparing for that, and um, what you kind of take from tough teams like Plymouth, and apply to uh, other tough teams like Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, well, off the back of playing a top League One team Saturday, we can only take lots of confidence going into the next game. Um, no games a given or a guarantee, so we'll we'll look to match our levels physically as we did Saturday, and then. We've got enough quality in the team to hurt teams, um, including Sheffield Wednesday. So we're looking forward to the game tomorrow night. It'll be a great test for us. We, everyone knows we enjoy playing at home and, and we're looking forward to it. Hopefully the fans fans are there to push us on and, and we're looking forward to it. And how much does that home advantage make a difference? I mean, when you're you know, two goals down or, or you know, like, you, like you were against Plymouth, um, does having a home crowd, does that give you extra momentum? Yeah, it probably gives some players a boost, definitely. This, you know, playing at home brings its own comforts, you know, a lot of familiarities, you know, just knowing the surroundings and, and that kind of thing. Um, we've picked up brilliant results away from home, um, but home form is definitely good for us. So it's, it's a good opportunity for us and, you know, we enjoy it here. The fans usually get behind us and, and it's, a, it's a great occasion, you know, Tuesday nights are enjoyable here and we've had a good good fixtures, uh, good results on Saturdays as well, so yeah, brilliant, looking forward to it. Talk me through some of the um, the relationships you have to kind of build in, in midfield and how, I suppose, as as you kind of get to know the player, the, your fellow players a bit more, you you sense, you know, um, or you, you work on, on different things. How, how has that gone recently for you, would you say, and, and the rest of the team in midfield? Yeah, we've got we've got midfield with lots of different characteristics, I think. We can play different formations. We can play a one and a two, we can play a two and a one, as we have done, depending on opposition. And people have come in, in cup games, done well. We've got, we've got numbers in midfield as well. Um, so yeah, I think Saturday, you know, there's, there's goals from midfield as well, we've shown. And it's about whoever plays really, it doesn't change too much, you know, Liam's missing at the moment, but he's due to come back in. And and yeah, it's, you know, there's plenty of quality in, in that area of the pitch. And yeah, we, we know whoever steps in, whoever plays there, can do a great job for us. Uh, and you, um spoke a little bit about um, how you think Cheltenham are doing this season generally. I mean, how are you? How are you finding it um, at the club? And and uh, what's what's you know what's been your kind of highlights, if you like? Yeah, 
think scoring goals is always a highlight of mine. I like I like to chip in, you know, hopefully I can score a few more in the league. But yeah, I think it's been great. Everything that I expected when I came back has, has been the case. I knew obviously it wasn't going to be an easy ride this season and I'm enjoying the challenge, definitely. Looking forward to the rest of the season, you can only take it game by game, but you know, in the present moment, I'm I'm happy. I'm enjoying my football. I'm enjoying the challenge of where we're at, and and we can only push on and and kick on this season. So it's been great. You know, there's great people here at the club as well, and and that's probably the most important thing. Lovely. Thank you. Cheers. Um, I'm all done, John. Yeah, Ryan. I just wonder how encouraging was it the amount of chances you created on Saturday against such a you know such a team that have been in such great form because. As the manager said, at times they were rocking, weren't they, on, on Saturday? Yeah, that's correct, definitely. I think Plymouth wouldn't have expected us to come there and cause as many problems as we did. So that's testament to us and shows um, how, how good we can be, really. Um, and, and they, like you said, you know, they were really rocking at times. So we could have probably put them to the sword a little bit more second half, but we can take so many positives out of their game. And, and we, I thought we were brilliant on the whole. Elkin Baggett missed the game due to through illness. Did he? Have you actually trained with him yet? Did he train towards the end of last week at all or not? Yeah, we've seen him Friday. He trained Friday, so Fridays are not um, too long. They usually, you know, a bit of sharpness on a Friday and stuff. So yeah, he joined in with the lads Friday. Um, seems a really good character. So looking forward to seeing more of him. Yeah, he's a big lad as well, isn't he? Left footed. Did, did he look the part from what you've seen so far? Albeit quite brief. Yeah, quite brief. All, all looks good. Yeah, he's. Um, He's challenging Caleb Taylor for a for a height off, <laughs> you know, those two sort of dodging ceilings, aren't they? So, yeah, it's, it's good to see him. He seems a good character, like I said, and I can't wait to see more of him um, in training and in games, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, so your own role, uh, as we know, you, you, you played right wing back a lot in the past for Cheltenham and you played um, in that central attacking midfield role also and done well in both. And recently, you've been moving between the two a little bit. How difficult is that to adjust? Yeah, I think... Early on in my career, something I didn't like too fondly switching around, you know. Um, but I think it comes with a bit more experience now, and being able to go in between the two positions is maybe a little bit easier. Um, every game poses its different challenges, whether you're at wing back or whether you're attacking midfield. So it's just adapting to each game, really. I always go into every game looking to impose myself as well as I can. So I'm happy to try and help the team as much as I can wherever I'm on the pitch and you know when people uh, are back fit and they can step in and maybe I move elsewhere that's the case that's brilliant but yeah I'm just trying to take it in my stride if you like. Yeah and how much of a motivation is it to, to take on a team like Sheffield Wednesday I think they've probably I think they've only lost once since you played up there and gave them a good game at Hillsborough uh, obviously they've been in brilliant form everyone from the outside will expect them to turn up and Turn sharp them over, won't they? So, how much of a motivation is that to try and it cause a bit of an upset, really? Yeah, definitely. I think that's the biggest motivation in itself, isn't it? Putting on a great performance, um, the result takes care of itself, but I'm sure everyone's chomping at the bit to go tomorrow night. Um, it's a great fixture to play in away from home, but probably even better at, at home. Um, and yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it, definitely.